right is the left eye kind of not visible. And the middle eye kind of is barely visible. I don't see the left eye icon at all. Oh, I see that. It's like right. I think 15 is probably good. Sure. Saying so, comment makes you need to start keep moving until the end. So, I heard a lot about this game. I've heard it's good. Fair like, warning. Stuff. This is gonna be <coughs> weirder than usual. Okay. Can't be helped. You called me. So, here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. Interesting. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated the shooter minor and printed materials, unauthorized weapons, dangerous laptops, smart watches, smart phones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, number two pencils, any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept, rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought into private entrances, be seen by the personnel and breach this process, please know very super laser. Oh, that's a little weird, but okay. This seal. 
I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. That's not even running. Okay. Why is this guy turned around? Like, that seems weird. Bathroom. Shout out to them, including bathrooms in games. Or when they do, you know. A lot of places, a lot of games. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Have you seen the bathroom in Resident Evil? They have a bathroom in the first bathroom. Well, I guess they have bathrooms in the first game. They don't have a bathroom in the police station. That get overlooked. You know? Not a single bathroom. And there's not even like a door. There's no doors that are like broken or anything. They have a fucking library. No bathroom. Reports reminder. Hey, as you should all know, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, you can only get written permission from the department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Mrs. Marshall, Miss Marshall, Mr. Salvador. Mr. Kirkland as needed. Bill is busy on Thursday in the annual policy review, so please schedule quarterly best your admin team. What the fuck is R4? There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm a janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, 
I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. came from this way. cell and the poster I was 11 years old the first oh time my I god I can't believe I had that up I'm they so sorry guys I imagined it I've been trying to pull it down ever since will you help will you help I'll help you you help me everyone Courtney hope <coughs> Juha Faino Jan Polkinen, Stuart McDonald, Sean Donnelly, Paul Arith, N.T. Puomio, uh, Damien Stepniewski, Tatu Alto, David Izzo, Josh Stubbs, Michael Kusurian, and Sam Lake. Petri Alonco, Sam Lake, Mikhail Kasserinen, Control. I like the end. I like how the end goes. I like, but it's part of the T, so yeah. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay. Ooh, no camera control. So is there no camera control here? Intrigue. Excuse me. Approved terminology reminder. While pending any notifications of death related to the will of all prod, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrase to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud pride will be remembered. Words, phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apologies, sorry. Something we've already kind of heard. A clearance level one card. I like how you have to like go into a room to like have the light change. I do kind of enjoy that. I feel like that's part of the ray tracing element, maybe. Maybe not. get the noise in the director though. I don't want to. 
Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments of the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Well, trench can get fucked. Let's investigate. Burr. Would be surprised when I came out of here. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> oh, you okay. Get up the murder weapon? Really? I like this. I, I, ooh, oh, there's a there's a door here. What? Can I like zoom into this? Like, how do I? Something's outside. Coming here a mistake. Fuck yeah, it was. Step, step on you. Like how she didn't pick up the gun, but picked up the gun. <coughs> and there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Unmapped area. I oh, I have. I have stuff now. Um, do I have collectibles? I have multimedia collectible objects of power. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's <coughs> altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note: remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fucked. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Okay. Complete the astral plane challenge. Suddenly platforming. I don't like the Y as the, the melee gun. button. Control the gun house. Obtain the service weapon. Let's go. Choose to be the chosen. I fucking choose it. Now I have a gun. Oh, I have to wait, it reloads on its own, okay. collect where these things are? No?
Enemies drop health elements when damage, collect health elements to destroy health. Restore health. The board appoints you. Congratulations, director. Oh, I'm the director now. Easy. Hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. Fuck yeah, it is. I'm happy. Happy to be here. Okay. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? It still says, like... What is that? You can't let this happen. Okay. You can't let this happen. 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 Discard. Case files, service weapon. Okay. Health recovery. Yes, do this. I don't know how to use those though. Can I go here? No? Okay. This shit was an elevator before, wasn't it? Wasn't there an elevator right here? There was. The game constantly changing on I me mean, like this is going to fuck me up so bad. The hot light. Secure line of communication. Guidance. Reach the hot line. The hot line. Okay. So, so far we're just like shooting dudes. Oh. Executive meeting minutes. Agenda items for next executive meeting. Rising costs of the AWE response. For update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters we found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Very strange, but okay. Do I like release them? 
bathroom stuff. Yo, there's a lot of toilet paper in there. You can see stuff from pretty far away, you don't have to check too much. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. <coughs> Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then, reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Hey, what were you? Undefined reading. I don't have the clearance level for it. I gotta listen to building shifts. The creepy. I guess maybe I won't. The shelter. What's over here? Is there anything over here first before I go that way? something right here. Dinner reservations. Dinner reservations 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready at the lobby reception. Don't remember. She's turning 46. <coughs> so you open that. I can go this way though. So Central Executive. Check in here real quick first. Undefined reading, of course. For Marshall's eyes only, Marshall we checked out, expected it to be in Duluth, wasn't anything, just like the house fire before his. And the function cause driver for that. The team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs and the real things. Or you need to rotate these field ladies off for a bit. Anyway. Anyway, we're in Rutter Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there, especially at Keenum. How to handle unscheduled visitors into the library, starting with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If the answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and then they need to leave. <coughs> Their answers seem escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If the responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, then immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Urban legends believe is the effect of creation of altered materials, as well as dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain informed by our own and popularized by our media. We have initially proven that urban legends can even be artificially in popular culture using our Bureau-made anthology television program. With the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs only occur on that only occur on a pair of scissors that consume human through two punctures on the these details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. 
Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Refer to that file for full, the full report. Okay, well, we're fi I mean, we're finding tons of fucking files. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum over and over. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave that on for a little bit. And we're done with it. I mean, is it really a hiss if it's all the people just talking? use this? That's the real question. It's like, is there controls? Yeah. Toggle op doesn't have one. Launch. Launch. Shield. like just oh that just heals me Got some shit. Weapon mods. Reload efficiency. Equip it. Personal mods. Health recovery. Plus 24. Very meta. This game's very meta. Sorry, Sebastian. This is you said. You gotta drive your mom's truck today when you go back to work to get your stuff. Twitch keeps loading, so if you say something, it can hear you. Because it keeps loading. Yeah. I, I just missed what you said. My bad. You did it. We did it. Speak with the voice on the safe room intercom. Can you hear me? Oh, I can fast travel. Outfits? I like to see nothing. Can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, Pope. I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on, we're coming out. I'm the director. new director. Faden. Apparently. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. But somehow this hostile force, this hiss. That works. 
Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. Okay. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are... And I've been shooting them, so I hope not. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau. <coughs> yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Hell okay. yeah, we can. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Driver truck, yeah, because you were doing your stuff with it. Yeah, well, you it didn't know. Work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Yeah. I'll make a fucking plan. I want to look around. I'm the goddamn director. You let me do what I want to do. Can I go this way? I can't. It's not red anymore, though. Push your fingers through this. Oh, this okay. That's level one. I probably don't have level one clearance yet. I can't cleanse them. I saw. <coughs> it was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm going to tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident 
in my hometown, ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. Get it. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HR. You saw your boss and coworkers today? I'm not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. That's cool. It's always nice to see your friends. They call well, me your boss director. and coworkers. But I don't know. My, my coworkers I consider kind of friends. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scared me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. They destroyed it all. We hate the hiss. The hiss sucks. Boo. I want to skip this vaccine. This is, uh, there's so much in this game that just seems so weird. Like, in, and not like, I don't understand it. Assets, materials. Portrait of Trench. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. house memory. So how do I upgrade stuff though? I'd like more slots. Or this way I think. Oh, that's where it, it, I need to go. Well, let's go up here first, just to make sure there's something up here. Or is this where it came from? This is not where it came from. Ooh, and there's a box. 
health boost. Oh, it's just health plus 17 now. We'll wait on that. I don't have a second slot. Once I have a second slot, sure, man. We can do whatever you want with that second slot. Health boost it up. I would love to be able to use my gun. Why can't I use my gun? <coughs> Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level of the has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to have a nice workplace shitter. Can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. Well, D. Rodriguez. Should go right into hell. House member, I don't know. What else. I don't know what house member. Like, I kind of, I kind of want to find out what some of this stuff does, but also I kind of don't care at the moment. Well, I mean, I can't care, but you know, move the story along. We don't want to be in a situation like undefined reading. There it is again. Our welcome message. Travel costs. Yeah. Accuracy boost. Accuracy plus five. Yeah, it's not, not great. Not great, not necessary, I think. Is this? This lady went back, I think, a little bit. No, oh, it did not, cause that's it. that's probably about right, right, right there where it wants to be. Where are you? I can hear you. Bathroom. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart green stable, yellow, low possibility anticipated building shifts, orange, high likelihood of anticipated building shifts, red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. In the cafeteria this way should go back to okay. oh, well, I guess we're going this way.
dead letters. That wasn't too bad. Fast travel now. So where are we going up here? Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. This is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen vessels. And once, we even launched a cup. Oh my god, they even launched a cup? Wow, can you, can you believe it? They launched a cup, guys. That's fucking wild. We're on the right track. I want to know how to level up. Some undefined reading. Book Club Samson. Book Club notes are penny, so I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this is alright. The title, unless you could refer to a bunch of stupid things in the book. I guess I thought it was a little vague and stupid, but the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got annoying real fast. The best parts of the story of the space battles decided with the fixers, obviously because they had the coolest tech and their motors made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns, spaceship hippies, or a badass bunch of warriors who go about devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade the city planet and convert the entire population using the big brain worms, that's a sp and that space dogfight between those two ace pilots, sign me the fuck up. What kind of Ruined the whole thing for me was my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Where is that book and how can I read it? I just close this room, I think. I feel like we might need to use that at some point. Let's go ahead. An object of power. Looks 
taking some damage. Shatter projectile boost. I swear there's something else in here to do. Hold on. Guess not. Floppy disk. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the Bureau Seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no yeah. one's director. Okay. This is burying you must stop meet them director. I'll stop meet them, don't worry. Don't you worry. Obtain the launch ability. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Someone was shooting at me from somewhere. 
Where'd he go? Oh no, I got shot. Someone shot me? Damn. Yeah, I quick controls instantly or see Okay, that's kinda cool. Kinda like Dark Souls. I assume that that doesn't like respawn enemies though. said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. Can I grab the people? No. <coughs> Immigration campaign summary of Will AWE. National news sites begin publishing a story of a polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know that I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to blank. So another AW behind us and the public is on the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. It doesn't mean we can stop monitoring and for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. My wife is going to bed. So, it's just us. It's just us. More undefined reading. This is coming, man. Energy boost. Plus energy. I just don't really need energy right now. Don't really need the energy right now. There's a key nearby. Yo, clearance level one. For our assets. Let's open the door. Claim control point. <laughs> Fucking claimed it. I would love if I could, like, maybe I go to the control point. House memory. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airways for more than 29 years. Yeah, no thanks. I guess let's fast travel back to the central executive. You lose 10% of your source every time you die. Okay, so the source is the stuff you need to 
buy upgrades with? I'm guessing... Um, there was a level 1 door around here somewhere. Maybe level 3. Level 1 door, where are you at? I think you're up here. Objects of power in their pair utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals pair natural abilities. We call these individuals pair utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the pair utilitarian. Using the blank object of power, for example, some pair can achieve a thorough distance of, while others are only capable of little as. What exactly determines the individual's per natural confidence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some exist within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I've issued requested access to the North Moore records. Considering he is one of the most accomplished pair utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen, Dr. Darling is still considering this request. Okay. Okay. Got ourselves a box in here. I'm good. House memory. We don't give a shit about that. Okay. Let's see if those all was in here. Lame. Pretty sure there was more back here. Level one. Level one. Level one. Where are you? Level one. Level one. Gotta find all the level ones, cause there's a butt this is over right here, I think. Let's see. Unread hiss barrier. The hiss resonance feel this physical impediment is equal to define. Oh, cause these are just Okay, I, those don't need those. Case files. Floppy disk. Th that corresponds. Agent death notification. Dear Mr. and Mr. Potts, I regret to inform you your son, Graham Potts, was killed in act duty this past week. While well, the details surrounding his death are classified, an honor to tell you that he died in the service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger, his commitment to protecting our nation against her enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain this will message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing the sacrifice helped protect the country you love so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray. And the multimedia mech overnight will. Um, actually, what was the objects of power? So I guess maybe there was one I didn't see earlier. Would have preferred them both. Undefined reading. Nothing super great, but whatever, you know. To each their own. Central Executive. Yeah, I thought this was fast. Before, I can't believe I thought that was fast. Over here now, like, fucking run faster than this. Do it. Oh, speed strats. Summary. An auditory event occurred in the United States Embassy in Havana 
injuring the majority of the diplomatic staff stationed there. Blank deaths are reported and the ongoing infor outgoing information is managed. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but we were too late to witness the act the event, which is reported to have been static vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for some time. No visual phenomena has was witnessed. Seamless cordon off the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After a former I.9 was decided in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate. Identifying it as an altered item, the item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. Okay. It's a little... yeah, some more help. More help would be nice. Um, so how do I... how do I do this? Like... Okay. I guess it is way... Dead presidents. Two minutes here. I'm being haunted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides. Give me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower. I don't know. <coughs> and I don't know how to think about lawnmowers. How to explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Okay. A little weird, James, but sure. Book Club Penny. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene in the usual spot on the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get the reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Threshold Kids show. A lot of weird.
I mean, I guess easy. There's a spot right there. Now I'm supposed to go through this door, right? Yeah, where all the blood's at. Ooh, what are you? They can fly now. Fuck me. Lost so much of that too. Defeat the Tomasi. The his corrupted Tomasi. Okay, so I was just being dumb there. Honestly, I think throwing shooting things are super shooting things are dumb. Run, run, run away, run as fast as you can. We've got a boss and this is cool, we're gonna kick his ass. You can't just like skip that, I got it. Oh shit. Fuck me. Come on. I was doing so well too. <coughs> I got greedy. Alright, well the good news is that I know there's no... No, nothing in between here and there. Just run right back. And we know that throwing shit at him really doesn't work, so... That's good. I'm trying to like use the, the B button to roll. Even though I know, I clearly know that's not how this game works.
Oh my god, you got you fucking kidding me? That fucking sucks. I'm losing so many, like, whatever these things are. Source? I'm losing so much source. I really just need to, like, go up on the top floor and not worry about the dudes. That was the way I beat the I one at the beginning. This one I need to keep doing. He ran away, it looks like. It's good. Got some source back. Oof, that was a tough fight. Elevated hiss. Let's stay focused. Me too. The hotline should be past the mail room. Well, is it, like, here past the mail room, or, like, upstairs past the mail room? Can I climb on this? Can't, I can't climb on this? She doesn't know how to fucking climb a ladder? Director, big giant company, can't climb a ladder. Take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff <coughs> at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all of that in short inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Now, are you still recording this? Alberto Tomasi had a... ...of comms. Okay. The hiss got him. The hiss did get him. Butte summary. A spate of experiences was traced to a home in the city of Butte where Bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at, which had been connected to a total of dis blank disappearances of the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. The other agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house 
days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident. The hotline can't be far now. Yeah, well, it's up there. Well, let's just check the rest of this out. Don't mind if I do launch efficiency. Oh, I need some more slots. I'd like to, I think after the hotline, we're probably going to go to call it tonight. I'm playing for about two and a half hours. Hotline chamber. But, I would really like to find out the house number. I'd really like to find out the hotline security log. Collect 40 collectibles. Hey! Director Trench, custodians. So, Director Trench and some custodians. Okay. Okay, so you can fall and die. That was that was new for me. Oh, I'm gonna run all the way back from the and I lost ten percent of my source. Fuck. That is that's so annoying. This is such a long run. The speedrun of this game must utilize the launch and out of bounds shit like fucking crazy. I would imagine. Like somehow like launch that you're standing on. No. Oh, okay. I wasn't staying in the right spot. There's a lot of roadside motels across the country. On the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them. Like something recognized from a dream. Well, that one door is locked. The bell doesn't seem to work. Different room up in each time. Key has a black pyramid on it. Black pyramid. I don't know if that's supposed to be a puzzle or not.
pick up the hotline. That's a little annoying because you have to be standing in like, the right spot. Picked up the hotline. Hotline bling. Now complete the astral plane challenge. Alright, so after this we will probably call it. Contact extra dimensional entities. That's cool, Sebastian. Um, I'm gonna get ready to probably go to bed here soon. Run past it. Y'all suck. Need some health. Wizard needs food badly. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane <coughs> and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions, to other planes of existence as well. Okay. Interesting. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Okay. Well, the story just seems like it's like really. I haven't. Not speak like. With Emily. I can reach Dredge. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly. According to the testimony, the agents have been transported from the Butte home to the roadside hotel named the Ocean Room Hotel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the homeowners, home's owner, and the other locales of the Butte have actually been. The light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home begins appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the sectors. These all across the Ocean View Motel. Though how exactly the link operates is, but initial hypothesis center on the Butte AWE as a blank. When I tell them about you. Yo, I have hotline shit. Director needs it. Something's coming. Touch all of these. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points. 
the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmoor before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. Okay. They are the weak point. Darling is right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams. Constantly ringing. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. I'm always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. Kind of weird. Uh, management team, we saw Ocean View do Hotel. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Ah, oh, he's drunk. Good old drunk. Coming storm. Ooh, it's long. Something's coming. The whisper's growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of Obfuscating the facts, dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I 
need answers. I haven't heard back from Needs answers. I fear for my friend, my closest <coughs> ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Ooh, Magical okay. thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. Fuck yeah, they are. things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. The directorship. Those are those things I'm just like kind of not sure on. Oh, right, some multimedia. Let's go back to Emily, I guess. Too soon to tell Emily. She might be able to help. We're doing okay for now. Travel to Central Executive. Yeah, there we go. Outfits. Is she here? This is the sector elevator. So she must be this direction. Boardroom. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but 
He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Maybe she can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. It, it, you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. We Test. could. Or. I don't know. You could go she to hell. find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. I mean, I'd like to fucking upgrade. That might be that'd be good, right? It's gonna show up in the Department of Maintenance because that'd be real fucking stupid. I feel like I'd be pretty upset about that. Upgrade and lock new abilities in this control point. Hi, Jesse. I'm Thanks, talk Emily. To you. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. We are war hostile takeover. This is the opposing force, foreign power. We will provide countermeasure strategy, except ingest them at control points. These countermeasure missions will benefit you. We will give resource rewards for each completed countermeasure. So like side quests, so they give us some side quests. Alright, so let's go to the control point and see what's going on. Someone's singing. Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the elevator. With what? We can't get any equipment from the research sector until the internal lockdown is lifted. Then see what you can find around here. Computers, documents, any measuring device. Astro constructs, weapon forms. Constructs shatter. Oh, it's like a shotgun mods. Oh, these are all weapon mods. Constructor. Okay, that's not what I want. Board counters. Abilities. See what I want. Watch damage. I'll say use some of these, okay. 
So let's do the 10% health. Good. And then let's do, what are these? Melee damage, launch damage. Let's do launch damage. Um, I guess energy. I don't really use melee damage that much, but I will just do it all of them if I can, you know why not. Um, board countermeasures. Kill enemies with the service weapon in pierce mode. Do I have pierce mode? Kill enemies in the executive sector with headshots. Surge mode. Just kill enemies in the executive sector. I guess I'll give you that one. I can only do three at a time. Strategic target hiss demolition experts. I don't I don't even know what those are at. Kill the hiss guards. Using spin. Guess that one with the headshots. So let's see weapon forms. Can I I guess just use this, right? The shatter? I need I need a threshold remnant. Okay, so that's good. That's fine. Okay. Um. How do I undo this though? Let's see, energy. Yeah, this health recovery is the best. I want to unequip this. Where's the ex now? I gotta find the executive sector. The central executive. In the executive sector. Oh, this is the executive sector. Okay, well, let's just go out here then. Dying world, meet me in the main canals. No thanks. I wanna fucking kill some dudes. Oh, I forgot about this door. Ammo refund, okay. Time to work. Meet me in the maintenance.
I he I healed that. Come on. That was lame. All right, we'll check out our headshots real quick. You can sprint to dodge enemy rockets and telekinetic attacks. I was like, they can use telekinesis, but I mean, we just the, we just fucking got murdered by the by the what's his name by the boss. So of course. Back to our control point. See what's going on here. See what that gives us. Collect reward. House memories. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Does it auto save? I guess it probably auto saves. What are these? What do I have on a reload if it reload speed? Ammo refund chance on hit. Spin shatter and grip. I don't even have pierce yet. What's this one? Launch efficiency cost. Okay. Don't be stupid. All right. Ooh, the um, golden child had to gain from killing the boss. I I guess it would. I mean, I'm gonna quit the menu just see what happens. You will turn to the last checkpoint. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that'll be it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.